Welcome to the ROI Guys Detective Agency, the best marketing sleuth duo this side of the Atlantic. You're here because we got pulled into a case you're gonna wanna see. Bionics, prosthetic limb manufacturer. Looks like another victim of software spaghetti. They got too many programs tangled up, like day old noodles. Yeah, it's a mess. There's a plus side though. They made the smart move switching to Odoo. We just gotta show them how to do it right. Come on, rookie. Let's head down there and take a look. Listen up, in this business, data tells stories. So let's take a look at the numbers and see what's going on. Receive rate is a good place to start. It'll show us how many emails are actually being delivered. These look clean, no delivery problems. But I bet something's off with their CTR. It stands for click-through rate, rookie. Pay attention. See that? We got opened emails, but no clicks which means these messages are about as useful as a lead pipe at a tea party. Not judging, just not my kind of party. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see how many opt-outs there are for the quarter. That's a lot, isn't it? And most of them are saying it's because the content of the emails are irrelevant. How's that compare to last quarter? Huh, not so many opt-outs last quarter. I think we're onto something here. Let's see. Open rates are fine, but there are less clicks, more opt-outs saying the content is irrelevant. Maybe they're not targeting the right audience. That must be it. Quick, let's pull up their mailing campaigns. What about this campaign for the top-end pair of bionic legs? Right away, we can assume that they only should be targeting customers who have purchased more expensive models in the past since those buyers are more likely to purchase another luxury product. Hmm. Okay, take a look at this one. Looks like Bionics tried to segment their audience by targeting leads in the contacts app. Not a bad call, but check how much they're targeting on the deal side. No wonder the click-through rate is so low. We're aiming for the high rollers, sure, but not the top of the top here. Now the updated email will only be received by customers who spent over $70,000. Say. This would actually be a useful customer list for Bionics to have on hand, Rookie. Because in this game, no one who's got deep pockets is gold. Let's mark it as a favorite for them to use later. Looking good. Now we'll take a look at the email they built. Not a bad start, but I think we can make some improvements. Which we'll try out using an A-B test. Take a look, Rookie. By splitting the audience delivery, we can compare the original version with our improvements. We want click rate to be the winner here because we want eyes on the product. And let's give it three days to play out. All right, that's one down. Now we create an alternative version and on our copy, let's spruce all this up. Boom, that's a good lead in. How about some better pictures? Now, Call on Odoo's integrated AI to help write some new copy. Here we go. Hey, isn't that handy? All right, just a couple finishing touches here. Call the action block. Quick tip, rookie. We can double check that by clicking this mobile preview button to see what it looks like. That's looking real shy. Now we send it off and wait. Let's look at this cross-selling one here. Now these arm attachments work on a specific base model, the Eclipse. So this campaign should only target customers who've purchased an Eclipse product before. Yeah, that click rate ain't looking so hot. Now would you look at that, rookie? No segmentation. Ah, they're not even targeting their current customers in Odoo. They're using an old buyers list from their earlier setup. Real amateur mistake, eh? Because the email marketing app is part of the larger Odoo ecosystem, we can target users from all over the database. We got options, see? We can do better. Let's copy this campaign, but give it some real firepower with more targeting. Who needs lists? 
We want to target the buyers already in the sales app. Now here's where we trim the fat. Only Eclipse product buyers should be getting this invite. And let's make sure to omit canceled sales orders too. Now we're cooking with gas. Talk to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. That was Bionics. Last minute job. They told us they locked in some hotshot speaker for the expo tomorrow. They want to announce it to their attendees. But get this, they want one email for their VIP members to upsell them on an exclusive meet and greet package, and then another for the regular attendees to push VIP tickets at a discount. Good thing they got the experts on the case, huh? Here we go. Bionix already started the email, so let's take over from here. First move, target only the expo attendees registered in the Odoo Events app. There are a few events coming up, so we'll need to also target by event name. Since we're upselling the regular attendees first, we'll exclude the current VIP ticket holders here and give it a good subject. In the promo section, we'll give them an offer they can't refuse. That ought to reel them in. Now, for the email going to the VIPs, we'll duplicate what we did here to start. But now we switch the filter to include those VIP ticket holders this time, with a new subject line. And instead of the promo, we'll add highlight section for the speaker. Let's drop in the details Bionic sent us for the finishing touch. And off that one goes too. Now we just wait for the results. It's been a few days since we sent out those campaigns. Time to see how they did. Foist, let's take a look at the A-B test results for the high-end product upsell. Bingo, our new design is a hit. Take a look at all those website visits generated through this email. Okay, that's one down. Next, let's take a look at the cross-sell campaign. Remember the click rates before? They're a lot higher now. Looks like our work saves the day again. Another one in the books, rookie. There you have it. We were able to fix those email campaigns using Odoo's targeting capability. Throw in the state-of-the-art web builder and AI integration, we got another shut case. Now don't forget, we're just getting started yet. Next time, we're going full throttle into the marketing automation app. Odoo, because amazing employees deserve amazing software.